You may have known Asia as the continent with the most visited countries in the world. It is an all-in destination to experience a diverse culture, history, practices, food, seasons, breathtaking sightseeing spots, and more. A day in an Asian country can already be a blast, but what if you have 30 days to spend in it? Crazy possibilities, right? That is what we are going to talk about in today's video. We have prepared the best 30-day Asian itinerary for you to make the most out of your next trip. We assure you that you will never run out of authentic Asian experiences. Before we begin, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can also turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on our next uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. The first country in our itinerary where you will spend four days is Tokyo, Japan. Day 1. Exploring Tokyo's History and Culture First stop, visit the Tokyo National Museum to know the country's rich cultural heritage. Next, head to Sensoji Temple, located in the Asakusa neighborhood. After lunch, go to the forested heart of the city to see the Meiji Shrine, dedicated to Emperor Meiji and his Empress Shokan. In the evening, head to Shibuya and experience its iconic pedestrian crossing and neon-lit streets. Day 2. Foodie Adventures in Tokyo On your second day, have a traditional Japanese breakfast at one of the world's largest seafood markets, Tsukiji Fish Market. Next, explore the neighborhood of Harajuku and sample some of Tokyo's most creative and delicious street food, including crepes, cotton candy, and more. In the afternoon, head to the upscale Ginza district and indulge in high-end shopping and gourmet dining. End your day with dinner at the Robot Restaurant for a futuristic dining experience. Day 3. Tokyo's Modern Architecture and Nightlife Kick off the day by visiting the iconic Tokyo Tower to have a breathtaking city view. Then, head to the Odebi area, known for its modern architecture and futuristic attractions such as the Team Lab Borderless Digital Art Museum. In the evening, experience Tokyo's vibrant nightlife scene in the bustling areas of Shinjuku or Roppongi, where you can try karaoke bars and nightclubs. Day 4. Escape to Nature in Tokyo Of course, your Japan trip would only be complete with seeing its beautiful nature. First, take a train to Mount Takao to try its hiking trails. In the afternoon, visit the beautiful Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden and enjoy a picnic or a leisurely stroll among the cherry blossoms if you're there in spring. End the day with a relaxing visit to an onsen or hot spring, such as the Oedo Onsen Monogatari, where you can soak in various baths and enjoy traditional Japanese hospitality. Then, spend the next three days in Kyoto, Japan. Day 5. Discovering Kyoto's Cultural Heritage Start your first day with a visit to King Kakuji, known for its golden reflection on the pond. Next, head to the nearby Rio Wanji Temple to see its Zen Rock Garden. After lunch, visit the impressive Nijo Castle. In the evening, explore the atmospheric Higashiyama neighborhood, known for its preserved traditional architecture, narrow alleys, and charming shops and restaurants. Day 6. Indulging in Kyoto's Culinary Delights In the morning, Sample some of Kyoto's famous breakfast dishes at the Nishiki Market. Next, take a cooking class or a food tour to learn more about Kyoto's unique cuisine and its use of local ingredients. In the afternoon, visit the Kyoto International Manga Museum, which showcases the history and diversity of Japanese manga and offers workshops and events. In the evening, enjoy a night out in Jian, Kyoto's famous geisha district. Day 7. Admiring Kyoto's Natural Beauty On your last day in Kyoto, visit the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. Next, take a scenic train ride on the Sagano Romantic Train, which runs along the Hozu River and offers stunning views of autumn foliage. After lunch, enjoy a cup of tea in Kiyomizu Dera Temple. In the evening, relax at one of Kyoto's famous public baths, such as Funaokan Sen or Gokoyu and soak in the natural hot springs. For the next three days, your next home will be Seoul, South Korea. Day 8. Exploring Seoul's Historic Sites Start your tour with a visit to the Gyeongbokgun Palace. Next, visit the nearby Buk Chonhanik village to see traditional Korean house architecture. After lunch, 
Go to the National Museum of Korea to see the over 220,000 objects from prehistoric times to the present that tell Korea's history and culture. In the evening, head to Namsan Tower and enjoy the sunset and the city lights. Day 9. Immerse yourself in Korean culture. On the ninth day, try a traditional Korean tea ceremony and learn its history and etiquette. Next, visit the nearby Gwangjang Market, known for its street food, textiles, and handicrafts. After lunch, learn how to make kimchi at the Kimchi Museum or a local cooking school. In the evening, at a theater or cultural center, attend a performance of Korean traditional music and dance, such as pansori or epic singing or samul nori or percussion ensemble. Day 10. Discovering Seoul's Modernity and Entertainment To conclude your tour in Seoul, make sure to visit the futuristic Dongdaemun Design Plaza. Next, enjoy coffee or beer in the trendy Hongdae neighborhood, known for its street art, indie music, and fashion. After lunch, have fun at the Coex Mall. In the evening, experience the vibrant nightlife of Seoul, with options ranging from karaoke rooms and rooftop bars to night markets and clubs. Now, let's head to Jeju Island, South Korea. Day 11. Discovering Jeju's Natural Beauty On your first day, visit the Song Senil Chulbong, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a volcanic cone that offers stunning views of the sunrise and the surrounding sea. Next, head to Manjangul Cave, one of the world's longest lava tubes. After lunch, attend cultural performances and workshops about traditional Jeju houses, tools, and customs in Jeju Folk Village. In the evening, enjoy a seafood dinner at one of Jeju's coastal towns, such as Soguipo or Jeju Sea, and try some of the island's fresh and unique dishes, such as abalone or black pork. Day 12. Immerse yourself in Jeju's culture and history. The next day, See the sculptures and installations made of Jeju's volcanic stone at Jeju Stone Park. Next, explore the Jeju World Cup Stadium, which hosted the 2002 FIFA World Cup. After lunch, check out some artworks at the Jeju Museum of Art. In the evening, watch a traditional Jeju performance. Day 13. Enjoying Jeju's outdoor activities and relaxation. Spend your last day in Jeju by hiking or walking along the Jeju Old Trail which covers the island's coasts, forests, and villages. Next, have fun on one of Jeju's famous beaches, such as Hiap J Beach or Jingmen Beach. After lunch, relax at one of the therapeutic baths and treatments in Jeju's hot springs, such as Jeju Henyo Spa or Sogui Poland. In the evening, enjoy a farewell dinner at a Jeju Black Pork and try Jeju's local specialty liquors, such as Hallison Soju or Ding Dong. Your third week in Asia will kick off in Taipei, Taiwan. Day 14. Exploring Taipei's must-see attractions. On your first day here, visit the iconic skyscraper called Taipei 101. Next, head to Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and have a glimpse into the island's political and social history. After lunch, see Chinese arts and artifacts at the National Palace Museum. In the evening, explore the neighborhood of Ximending a popular entertainment and shopping district. Day 15. Immersing yourself in Taipei's culture and arts. On your 15th day, visit the Longshen Temple, a historic and ornate temple that blends Buddhist, Taoist, and Confucian traditions. Next, head to the Taipei Fine Arts Museum, a contemporary art museum that features works by local and international artists. After lunch, visit the Huashen 1914 Creative Park, a former wine factory turned cultural and creative hub with art galleries, design shops, cinemas, and music venues. In the evening, attend a traditional Chinese opera or concert at the National Theater and Concert Hall, or enjoy a live music performance at one of Taipei's many bars and clubs. Day 16. Indulging in Taipei's foodie scene. Seize your last day in Taiwan by visiting a local market, such as the Shilin Night Market or the Rauhi Street Night Market, and try Taipei's famous street food, such as stinky tofu, oyster omelet, and bubble tea. Next, head to Din Tai Fung for a delicious and affordable dining experience. After lunch, take a food tour or cooking class to learn about Taiwanese cuisine and culture. Also, try some local delicacies, such as beef noodle soup, pineapple cake, 
and mango-shaved ice. In the evening, enjoy a gourmet dinner at one of Taipei's fine dining restaurants, such as Ra or Myun. The next country on the itinerary is Hong Kong, China. Let's continue with Day 17 – Discovering Hong Kong Island Start your tour by taking the Peak Tram to Victoria Peak and enjoy panoramic views of the city skyline and Victoria Haba. Next, visit the Manmo Temple, which offers a glimpse into Hong Kong's cultural heritage. After lunch, explore the vibrant neighborhood of Central. In the evening, take a sunset cruise on a traditional junk boat and enjoy the stunning views of the harbor and the city lights. Day 18 – Experiencing Hong Kong's Cuisine and Shopping On the 18th day, visit a local market, such as the Temple Street Night Market or the Stanley Market, and sample some of Hong Kong's famous street food, such as dim sum, egg tarts, and fish balls. Next, head to Causeway Bay, a bustling shopping district, to buy some goods and souvenirs. After lunch, take a food tour or cooking class to learn more about Hong Kong's cuisine and culture, and try some local delicacies, such as roasted goose, clay pot rice, and milk tea. In the evening, attend a performance at the Hong Kong Cultural Center. Day 19 – Exploring Hong Kong's Nature and History On the last day in Hong Kong, make sure to experience taking a ferry to Lantau Island and visit the Tian Tan Buddha. Next, take the Nongping 360 cable car to enjoy the stunning views of the island's mountains, beaches, and villages, and visit the Poline Monastery. After lunch, head to the Hong Kong Museum of History, a comprehensive and interactive museum that showcases Hong Kong's rich and diverse history, culture, and people. Enjoy a scenic hike on the Dragon's Back Trail in the evening or take a sunset walk along the Tsimshatsui Promenade, which offers panoramic views of Victoria Haba and the city skyline. To conclude your third week in Asia, the next destination is Shanghai, China. Day 20 – Exploring the Bund and Old Shanghai Start the day by walking along the Bund to see the stunning skyline of colonial-era buildings on one side and the Huangpo River on the other. Next, explore Old Shanghai by visiting Yuyuan Garden and the nearby city god temple called Xing Huang Miao. After lunch, visit the Shanghai Museum and learn about the rich history of Shanghai and China. In the evening, watch a Chinese acrobatic show at the Shanghai Center Theater or enjoy a river cruise on the Huangpo River. Day 21 – Discovering Shanghai's Modernity Start the 21st day by visiting the iconic Oriental Pearl TV Tower, which stands 468 meters tall. Next, explore the trendy district of Sintiandi, which features a mix of traditional Shikuman-style buildings and modern boutiques, cafes, and restaurants. After lunch, visit the Shanghai World Financial Center and ride the high-speed elevator to the top floor for breathtaking views of the city and the surrounding area. In the evening, Visit the Lujiasui Financial District and enjoy a drink at one of the rooftop bars with spectacular views of the city's modern skyline. Day 22 – Experiencing Shanghai's Art and Culture On your third day here, check out the Power Station of Art to see various contemporary art exhibitions. Next, explore the French Concession, a charming and leafy district with tree-lined streets, colonial-era architecture, and a mix of trendy boutiques cafes, and galleries. After lunch, visit the 3rd century temple known for its giant Buddha statue, the Jing'an Temple. In the evening, enjoy a traditional Chinese opera performance at the Shanghai Grand Theater or attend a concert or show at the Shanghai Symphony Hall. Day 23 – Day Trip to Suju To end your trip to Shanghai, take a day trip to Suju, a charming canal town located about 100 kilometers west of Shanghai and known as the Venice of the East. In the same country, the next destination is Beijing, China. Day 24 – Exploring Beijing's Ancient Sites Start the day by visiting the iconic Tiananmen Square and stroll around it to appreciate its grandeur and historical significance. Next, visit the Forbidden City and admire its exquisite architecture, royal halls, and treasures. After lunch, take a rickshaw tour of the Hutongs, the narrow alleys that showcase Beijing's traditional courtyard houses, local markets, and street food vendors. In the evening, 
Watch a traditional performance of the Beijing Opera at the Liyuan Theatre. Day 25. Experiencing Beijing's Culture and Cuisine On the 24th day, start the day by visiting the Temple of Heaven and roaming around its gardens, pavilions, and altars. Next, enjoy the 798 Art District's Eclectic and Contemporary Art and Culture. After lunch, visit the Summer Palace and enjoy its natural beauty, architectural splendor, and cultural richness. In the evening, enjoy a traditional Peking duck dinner at Dadong or Quan Jude, and savor the city's most iconic dish. Day 26. Discovering Beijing's Modernity and Great Wall For your last day in China, visit the Bird's Nest and Water Cube and take a tour to learn about their innovative and sustainable design and engineering. Next, take a scenic drive to the Mutianyu section of the Great Wall and hike or take a cable car to enjoy the panoramic views of the wall and the surrounding mountains. After lunch, visit the Ming tombs and marvel at their majestic architecture, intricate carvings, and fascinating history. In the evening, watch a Chinese Kung Fu show at the Red Theater, a dynamic and spectacular performance that showcases Beijing's martial arts and culture. Finally, your last Asian destination will be Bangkok, Thailand. Day 27. Exploring Bangkok's Temples and Markets Start the day by visiting the Grand Palace, which showcases Thailand's rich history, culture, and art. Take advantage of the famous Emerald Buddha. Next, visit Wat Pho, the Temple of the Reclining Buddha, and marvel at the giant gold-plated statue of Buddha and the intricate murals, sculptures, and pavilions. After lunch, explore the Chattachak Weekend Market and browse its thousands of stalls selling everything from fashion, jewelry, and antiques to food, plants, and pets. In the evening, take a dinner cruise along the Chao Phraya River and enjoy the panoramic views of Bangkok's landmarks and the delicious Thai cuisine and cultural performances on board. Day 28. Experiencing Bangkok's Culture and Cuisine On your 28th day in Asia, start the day by visiting the Jim Thompson House and learn about his life, collection, and legacy, as well as Thai architecture and culture. Next, take a cooking class at a local market or restaurant and learn how to prepare and cook some of Thailand's most famous dishes, such as Pad Thai, Green Curry, and Mango Sticky Rice. After lunch, visit Wat Aron and climb up its central prang to enjoy the stunning views of the river, the palace, and the city skyline. In the evening, go to Khao San Road and experience its vibrant nightlife with street performers, bars, clubs, and food stalls. Day 29. Discovering Bangkok's Shopping and Relaxation For your last day of the tour, visit Siam Paragon and indulge in some high-end fashion, electronics, and beauty products. Next, go to the Erawan Shrine and make a wish or offer a flower garland to seek blessings and prosperity. After lunch, take a traditional Thai massage or spa treatment at one of Bangkok's stop spars, such as Banyan Tree, Mandara, or Oriental, and rejuvenate your body and soul. In the evening, visit Asiatic the Riverfront, a trendy and chic night market and entertainment complex that combines shopping, dining, and shows, and enjoy its unique and stylish ambience. Day 30. Departure Your 30th day in Asia will be dedicated to your departure to guarantee you will also finish your 30-day Asian trip happily and safely. Depart Bangkok and return home with memories of an unforgettable 30-day journey through some of the most fascinating destinations in Asia. That's it for today. Share with us what you think about this video by commenting below. Please like this video and hit the subscribe button. You may also ring the notification bell to keep you updated on our next uploads. So where do you want to go next? See you there in our next video.